All right, we have gone from conception all the way to old age. Here we are. Let's do this, okay? As always, we're going to start with the physical development, right? During older age, this is where we see a huge decline um, in physical and cognitive abilities, okay? So there's a de decreased reaction time, muscle strength, stamina, hearing, vision, smell, lots of different things. Um, when we think about, right, smell and hearing, right, a lot of times we've seen it damaged by this point to the... Um, actual sensory receptors that are taking in that information. And that's part of what the problem is. Um, when we think about, um, sorry, that's hearing and, and smell. When we think about vision, um, the actual lens itself starts to become cloudy or less transparent. And we look at the functioning of the iris. Um, the iris typically stays more constricted. Um, so the pupil typically is smaller than it would have been and not allowing in as much light, which light allows for like a crisp, clear vision. Okay. So we do see that. We also see um, some weakening in, in the brain, which we'll get to at, at the end of this slide. Okay. Typically we have an increase um, in body fat to body muscle percentage because the muscle does atrophy some. Again, this is correlational data. It's not causal. I'm sure you've seen tons of really, really skinny older people, right? And I'm sure you've also seen some pretty active toned older people. Okay. So again, it is in fact correlational information. Um, we do also see a decline um, in the immune system at this point. Um, I will say that typically we might not necessarily see little teeny tiny small colds as much in older people because they've had so much exposure at this point that they've built up some antibodies. Um, and some nat natural immunity to some of those different things. Um, however, right, when they do get sick, they get very, very sick and their body doesn't do as good of a job. I'm dealing with that. I remember when my grandmother was older, like even if you had the teeniest, tiniest of sniffles, like you better not think you were going to step foot in her house because if you walked into her house and then you appear to be a tiny bit sick, she would ask why you came and send you home. <laughs> Very much. Um, during COVID, it was terrible because even once things started to relax, like we didn't see my grandmother, right? We might go and like ring her doorbell and stand back and like talk to her at the door. But she was like not willing at all to expose herself. And that's because she knew that her immune system was weakened and she was more vulnerable than some other populations. Okay. Um, the last little thing that I have here talks about a decrease in neuron activity, right? Typically by the time that people reach 80, their brain um, is about 5% um, lighter than it was. And that's because they actually are losing brain mass. And with that, they are losing some of the neurons, right? I know we said that your, your brain size doesn't necessarily correlate with your intellect, but it does if we're talking about the death of brain cells. Okay. Um, really important thing to note, however, is that exercising slows aging. It slows physical aging and it slows your brain aging. Not that it stops it, but the more you oxygenate your brain, the better it functions, right? And it slows the decline rate. The more you use your body, it also slows the decline rate. So exercise is important to both physical and cognitive health, particularly at this age. Okay. So important things to think about. Um, there. Speaking of that cognitive stuff, let's kind of get into that a little bit. 